We can all look back to our favorite birthday parties as a kid. Maybe it was a dinosaur or a princess theme, and of course, there was a cake. It's hard to imagine that right here in our own neighborhoods, our own communities, there are hundreds of children who cannot afford even the most simple birthday staple, a cake. But thanks to one woman who had a vision and started a local nonprofit, Free Cakes for Kids, that is all changing, one birthday cake at a time. My name is Kelly Eggleston. I'm the chapter organizer for Spokane Free Cakes for Kids, and we provide birthday cakes for kids that uh, otherwise would not get them. I started Free Cakes for Kids because my husband wanted chocolate chip cookies basically and he bought me a KitchenAid mixer and I looked for things to do with it and tried to find other things to make besides chocolate chip cookies and uh, found all the cake shows that are out there and I wanted to learn decorating and uh, about right at that time as I was trying to learn decorating I ran across a magazine article that started talking about this lady that had had a foster child who had come into her home and she had just barely gotten there. She'd only been there about a week and was her birthday. So they thought they would throw a small celebration together and make her a birthday cake. And when they got finished, put, brought the cake out for um, the celebration, she just started crying. And when she, well, they thought they had done something wrong. They thought they'd hurt her feelings and when they, found out what was wrong, it turned out that she had never had one before. And I don't remember if she was six or nine, but she was still very small and had never had a birthday cake before. And so this lady down in Georgia started this organization. And when I read that article, it just touched my heart. And I thought, perfect, I can make cakes, I can decorate and learn to do something I enjoy and give them away to kids that could maybe, you know, have never had one before. I am inspired every single time I meet the kids. I, there are times, you know, you get down and you get, you know, I'm busy, I don't maybe have time for this. And then you go and you make that delivery and you see their face or you see the gratitude in the parents' eyes or a single mom who's struggling and you can just tell that a weight's been lifted off of her shoulders and she's so grateful and you just see the sigh and the kids are happy and they're excited and it, it's a celebration and you just can't go wrong. You show up and everybody gets happy. So I just want to do it again and again. The volunteers supply all of the materials themselves. They, it, right now we have been 100% volunteer funded. They take a cake knowing their schedule, they, it, based on their schedule and based on their cost and however many cakes they can provide and they know upfront that they're going to be funding it from start to end. So they provide all the cake, the decorating, the boxes, the transportation, all of it. The cost varies depending on whether you make it by scratch or you make it um, from a box. We try to keep it as low as we can because it's all volunteer funded. So it's around anywhere from 10 to $20 per cake. In 2010, we made about 140 cakes. And in 2011, we're hoping to hit about 200, maybe even a little more. We have a number of ways people can be involved. We have baking, uh, which is our number one, because the more bakers we have, the more kids we can make cakes for, and that is our, always our number one priority. But we have other ways, too. We have opportunities for people if they want to help us deliver them, or if they want to help run and get supplies, or get boxes, or there's all kinds of different ways. There's um, going out and talking to stores and to just being able to be a community presence with us too. And website, we always need help with our electronics. So <laughs> there's a number of ways. I remember my favorite memory of delivering a cake was a little girl with her grandmother and she was in a situation where her parents are in prison and so she lives over here by herself with her grandmother, an elderly grandmother, and we met to deliver the cake and I couldn't get out of the car fast enough. She had already jumped out of the car and was jumping up and down and so excited and so I had to get past her to get the cake out of the other side of the car and while I was doing that, the grandma was making a space in the back of the car so that it would be nice and safe 
and that wasn't good enough. She wanted to hold that box and she, she held it so preciously, it was like a little, a newborn kitten or something and she put it in her lap and said, no, I'll carry it this way all the way home and she was so excited and it was just one of those moments where I left in tears because it was so sweet. I'd like people to know that, that Free Cakes for Kids isn't just a birthday cake. It, it, some people just think it's, it sounds, you know, oh, it's just a birthday cake, you can go get one from the grocery store. But it's not just that, it's the love that goes with it. It's the fact that that child knows somebody that they don't even know cared enough about them to bring them a birthday cake. And a lot of them, that's all they get. They, they don't have the big parties and the presents and those celebrations like a lot of us are you know, pretty familiar with and so it's it's more than that. I hope that when when a child grows up and they're looking back on their childhood that that'll be a special memory for them that they'll carry forever. Yeah, I have two daughters and when they were growing up I would throw them these elaborate birthday parties. It didn't, it, it was just a no-brainer to me. They had, it was their birthday, we would go through it and there, you know, they'd have the princess parties and the big birthday parties with lots of friends or different places. And the cake was actually, to me, a minor part of it. It was just part of the things you put together. And we did it all the time. And to think that a child wouldn't get a birthday cake or a party at all, or that the cake would be the only part of their celebration and it would make it that much more special to them, it, it just, touched my heart as a mom to think I want to be able to provide that for those kids that they can have something special on their birthday also. When Market Vision heard about free cakes for kids, we knew we had to contribute in a special way. It's amazing what a little flour and a little sugar can do to make a child feel they have worth in this world. By giving to free cakes for kids, we believe we're giving a gift that will be remembered long after the last piece of cake is gone.